Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from higher ground on Ladies Island. I'm joined this afternoon by Katherine Reed from Junior Service League of Buford. Nice to have you. Hi, it's nice to be here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, Caitlin. I know that you guys have a lot going on at the Junior Service League, and there may be some viewers out there who are not familiar with Junior Service League of Buford. So we'll just take a moment to explain what the organization is all about. Sure. Um, so the Junior Service League of Buford, we founded our organization in 2005. We're a group of like-minded women um, of varying ages that are working towards the same goals. Um, we're working to develop our leadership skills, but also serve and enrich the women, children, and families within our communities by volunteering and fundraising. Right, and you have had a number of events um, over the course of the year. You just wrapped up one, uh, but now you're here to talk about your annual fundraising event that is taking place in downtown Buford um, on the, at the Arsenal on May the 12th. That's correct. Um, so we're really excited for our 13th annual um, spring fundraiser, the JSLB Jubilee. Um, it will be held at the historic Arsenal Courtyard um, from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, you can buy tickets in advance or at the door. Excellent, so obviously, when people attend the fundraiser, they're very interested in knowing where those funds are going. So if you're interested in attending the event, where do the, those dollars go and how do they impact our community? Sure. So our spring fundraiser, all of the funds that we raise, um, we end up giving back to the community. Um, on an annual basis, we accept grant requests from local nonprofit organizations in Beaufort County and in Jasper County. Um, since 2005, we've donated over $150,000 to our wow, community. Wow, that's amazing! Um, and just last year, we were able to grant $24,000 um, to roughly 10 organizations within Beaufort and Jasper. That's amazing work. Obviously, um, good work that people who are out there watching should know about. So if people are watching this interview and they're interested in getting involved, how can they do that? Um, well, we'd love to ask um, all of the members of our local community to um, donate, whether you'd like to donate through sponsorship or donating silent auction items, but more importantly, we'd love to have you attend the event. Um, by attending, you can learn more about the Junior Service League of Beaufort and all of the things that we do throughout the league year, um, but you can also uh, witness the celebration that, where we're giving out our 2018 grants. Um, to our local organization. So that will happen at this event on May the 12th? It will. That will happen that night. That's really, really exciting. So what's the attire? So, you know, as ladies, <laughs> we always want to know what should we should wear to this event? Sure. Um, so we're uh, looking for cocktail attire. Not only is this a spring fundraiser, but like I said, we're granting out our um, annual grants. So we want to view it as a celebration. Um, put on your cocktail attire and join us from 6 to 10. To have some really, some fun. Yep. Yep. Um, so viewers who may be interested in becoming a sponsor, what's the best way for them to get some information and be able to do that? Sure. So if you know any local members of the Junior Service League of Beaufort, you can always approach them. But we also have a website. Um, if you go under the uh, membership tab of our website, you can download the sponsorship packet and you can see the various levels of sponsorship and the benefits that you receive. Great. Um, and then is there anything else you'd like our viewers to know about the Junior Service League of Buford? We're just very fortunate to um, be a great organization here in Buford and be in um, our local community since 2005. We're looking forward to our 13th annual event and we hope that you can throw on a cocktail dress and come out and celebrate with us. It sounds like it's going to be a wonderful event and I'm I witnessed firsthand some of the work that you guys have, ladies have done um, over the course of the year. So kudos to you and your organization for being such a great member of our community. Well, thank you very much. We're looking forward to a great event this year. And I'm sure you'll have one. Thank you so much for being a guest, Caitlin. We appreciate it. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Rod.